Hello, my name is Christopher Gerstel, and I am a PhD student in the Department of Forestry and Environmental Resources at North Carolina State University. I want to tell you a story about a tree, one that you might not have given much thought to, but it is a lot more important than you may think. There are few trees in the eastern U.S. as important as oaks. They span across the entire continent, with about half of all forests in the eastern United States being oak forests. They play a crucial part of the ecosystems of eastern forests. Oaks provide food for a wide variety of mammals, particularly acorns during the winter months when alternative sources are scarce. Oak trees themselves provide habitat for small mammals and spun bird species, some of which nest exclusively in oaks. And oaks are also economically important as a major component of the hardwood timber industry in the eastern U.S. However, despite their prevalence in the region, these trees are in real trouble. Researchers have observed widespread failure of oaks to regenerate in the 20th century. Put more plainly, oaks are not successfully reproducing and recruiting seedling oaks into the canopies of eastern forests. As time passes and older oaks die, they are gradually being replaced by other tree species, in particular sugar maples and yellow poplars. Why is this happening? That is actually an open question for forest ecologists. Researchers have observed patterns that suggest certain causes. Perhaps the suppression of fire has taken away a crucial competitive advantage for oaks over their competitors. Maybe deer population growth has hindered oak regeneration through browsing on sapling leaves as well as acorns. Or maybe changes in harvesting strategies by land managers have created light environments that are unsuitable for oaks. All of these are possibilities, but there's been very little experimental work to examine these hypotheses and no modeling work to speak of as well. And that's where I come in. I entered the PhD program at North Carolina State because I wanted to ask and answer important questions about four species compositions across large spans of space and time. And this is one of those questions. With the help of researchers at North Carolina State, as well as the U.S. Forest Service, I plan to use the landscape level forest regeneration model, Landis II, to test several hypotheses on the failure of oak regeneration. This model allows us to test these hypotheses on much larger spatiotemporal scales than would be possible in traditional experimentation, as well as tests different management strategies to promote oak regeneration on the landscape. With these tools, we will be able to examine the effect future climate change will also have on oak regeneration, which is another open question. My research will shed greater light on how the abiotic, biotic, and social forces that influence the forests of the eastern U.S. interact to affect oak regeneration giving land managers insight into management strategies that could give these vitally important trees a bright future. If you'd like to learn more about my work or the work of the other amazing researchers in the Robert Scheller Lab at North Carolina State, visit our website or follow us on Twitter. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, and as always, go State.